it started with uh, the night of the storm. I live on Ho'okupu Street in the bottom of Leilani. Uh, there wasn't much wind yet, every once in a while a gust. And then we heard the jet engine going off. And uh, our doors were open because we were trying to enjoy the storm. Uh, we went outside to hear what the noise was and see, you know, maybe that was the, st the storm picking up. And no, it was coming from only one direction, the direction of the, uh, the, of the uh, plant. Uh, so we immediately called 911, or nearly immediately, and, and they said, yeah, we know about the plant, and hung up. And I didn't have any other a chance to ask any questions or anything like that. Uh, you know, the, the noise was very loud still, so we were still worried. I tried to call the couple of numbers I had for the P PGV and uh, wasn't able to get through. One was just a beep, beep, beep sound, and the other would just uh, rang and rang and rang. Um, <coughs> so uh, getting a hold of them wasn't an option either. We had a, uh, about that time, in b uh, the next, within that first half hour of the noise going off, uh, we smelt it <coughs> pretty strongly. We both went outside and were like, wow, uh, curious, not knowing, you know, what's going on. Uh, and sm so we smelt the, the rotten eggs and the sulfur type smell or whatever it is. Um, got some pretty good whiffs in it, I guess. I guess that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Um, from there, we called 911 again and, uh, and asked, I specifically asked, should we evacuate? And they asked to put the phone down, asked somebody else, and they said, uh, no need to evacuate. Uh, uh, about five minutes after smelling the smell, or within the five minutes, we immediately started getting like a low pressure type of headache and a uh, scratchiness in the throat and a heaviness in the chest. Um, then uh, I saw on Facebook a uh, notification from the mayor to if you're feeling ill effects, then you should evacuate. So we wrapped up the, you know, we had a couple other people in the household and uh, uh, grabbed the dog and cat and tried to, to flee, um, only to find that the roads were blocked. We ran into a, the uh, fire department and they were blocked into Leilani, the lower end of Leilani as well. Um, we tried to go around different ways and then we passed the fire department again, and uh, at that time I'm, I told, you know, I said, listen, what do we do? We're feeling effects, what do we do? And um, yeah, I'm emotional, I'm remembering back to the night, because, you know, I'm trying to take care of the other people in the house. And they're, you know, like the older lady that isn't on the chart, you know, she was panicked. Um, and she f smelt it very strongly as well. Um, so we couldn't evacuate, so we go and we head back. Uh, they said, you have to go back to your house and close the doors and windows, and that's it. There's no, nothing else for you to do. So we, we head back, um, basically a mile back towards the plant. So honestly, w uh, a lot of us were, or a lot of us were concerned that, uh, you know, we might die heading back a mile towards the plant. <coughs> uh, s immediately beyond getting home, uh, this raspiness is actually still effects from the sore throat, which is almost gone, 95% better now. Yeah, but that just went away in the last couple of days. Um, so immediately upon getting home, I'll close the windows. Uh, I'm running around trying to get everybody settled down. The, the old lady in the, ho in the home is saying, "My, what are we going to do?" I'm saying, "We just got to, we, we got to bear down. That's all. We, all that's all we can do." Uh, I really feel bad about that. I mean, that she had, that she had no other place to go to. Uh, I immediately we started to build a, put our bed, uh, some blankets down in the closet, a walk-in closet, so that we could be further away from the the windows or whatever. Because, um, and as I put the bed together, 
it wasn't within uh, three minutes or even a minute, and all of a sudden I was I was out, and then I was out for 12 hours. Um, Megan, my partner, uh, tried to wake me during the night. She couldn't wake me. She tried to shake me a little bit. Usually I'm a light sleeper. Uh, she tried to shake me. She tried to shine a la flashlight in my eyes. Um, she look, looked at my eyes and said that I kind of looked dead because my eyes were red and puffy and I wasn't waking up. After I woke up the next morning, um, it took a while to uh, kind of feel ungroggy in my head. Um, the headache was still there, the, the heaviness in the chest, and uh, feeling like I needed to cough, but there wasn't any cough really there, just in there. The, the cough developed a little bit more later. Um, um, the next day, we were trapped in Leilani for the whole day. Um, the next day after that, we, w we, um, uh, we were able to get out of Leilani, but I was in the middle of making sure the, f the household had gas and everything else that we needed to bear down for, for who knows how, we were gonna, how long we were going to be without electricity and phone and everything else, because there was nothing, no internet, no, no nothing. The third day, I think it was Sunday, um, I felt a rash. Or I felt, I'm sorry, I had rosacea or whatever redness around my skin. I felt the heat in there. She, she, other people said that I looked blotchy in the, in the face. Um, and then, but that Sunday, uh, something felt more serious was happening. I felt tingling in my arms, right here, the forearms down a little bit to the fingers, and then intermittently on my, on my face. Uh, so I decided I better get to see somebody. I went to the uh, urgent care first in Pahoa, and uh, he said that there was nothing that they could do there. You'll have to go to the emergency room. So then I went to the emergency room where they did a full run-up, uh, gave me oxygen first thing, uh, tested my blood, blood oxygen levels, and all these other things. Um, they released me saying that there's no treatment for this type of gas, but these are all the symptoms that uh, are related to it. Um, and there's nothing that they can test for three days later to prove that there's the gas that I've been affected by the, the gas. Just that those, those were the uh, symptoms of it. Um, the, the cough and the heavy chest lasted the, for f the full two weeks, the heavy chest. In the last week, it, it's pretty much started to feel better. So I think it's been like three weeks now, something like that. Um, the tingling only was in there for uh, a couple of days. Uh, the headache was off and on for, I don't know, it, it got less over, over two weeks. Um, I, I think that's the story. I put it on the, the internet. If I could ask a couple, couple of things.